In the spring of 2011, Bill Levy said, why don't we get teachers and farmers paired together and get farmers to go into the classroom and teach science class and get the kids out on the farm. And knowing how busy farmers are, I said, who are you going to get to do that? I have been participating in the adoptive farmer program since its inception. Um, so this would be our 10th school year. Holy cow. We bring farmers into the classroom to do activities with the students, and then we also take students out to the farm to create kind of a two-way path of communication and open up conversations around agriculture in our state. And what better group of people to share it with than middle school kids? I mean, they're soaking it in. We were involved in that first pilot program. That year there was three schools. And it grew to nine the next year and 18 the following year. And then it grew up to 30 and towards 50. And over the past 10 years, we reached over 20,000 students. Teachers love the program. I've now known these teachers for nine years. And now they're, I mean, they've, they've become friends. Dear Dorflers, this year I celebrated 10 years of teaching in the Beaverton School District. The Adopt-A-Farmer program has been the highlight of my career. It is a true partnership between teachers and farmers who understand how important it is that students learn observation skills and economics as well as problem solving and engineering. Thanks so very, very much, Susan Duncan. Well, we created this game to uh, engage the kids to make some decisions. In a lot of the classrooms, they'll play the farming game, which all started because our teacher asked us to talk about the economics of farming. And they had a lot of fun because they had to fill out their little squares of how their farm looked or what crops they were. Once we play that game, a lot of things start to resonate with those kids um, that they probably didn't pay attention to before. And that gave them a sense of what the farmers have to do to make decisions on what to grow. Farmers are busy, teachers are busy. Really the success has been that AgLink pairs them together and keeps the momentum going. The program wouldn't work without all of the volunteers as well as all the support from businesses and organizations in the ag community. Well this is a very good place to get the message across to an audience that is going to have an impact a long time down the road. It's such a cool bridge that is built by both groups visiting each other in their home space. We're all always looking what our return on investment is on, on what we do, and I think the return on investment in these kids is that they're our future, and we have an opportunity to help kind of guide that with and, and make agriculture uh, important to them. 